Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you a simple way, at least the way I do it, to load uh, Weed Whip cassettes. This is off of Echo Weed Whip, but um, I'd imagine other brands are very similar. So in the past, I've just cut off two lengths of, of Weed Whip string. You know, I guess how many lengths, I think I used to do five arm lengths, just like this, um, and then cut it in half. And you end up with uh, you know, a big coiled up mess, a springy mess that's really hard to keep straight. So I decided to use this. And the key to this technique is you have, have two spools. It can be any kind of spool, whatever you can come across, even these type of things that don't have a very good center, they'll work. Um, so you just take your two strings, one off each spool. Get them started in your cassette. There's two holes in there. If you don't know that already, you're probably a lot of your depth. So here's, you turn those things backwards. Get them snagged in there and good and tight. And just start drawing it. I'm using my thumb and finger here to produce friction so I can draw that tight. There's no friction here on the spools. And you just wind it up. Keep it fairly snug, otherwise they'll get uh, knotted up in there once you bump it. And take it up to just about to the top of those notches. So we go another one in there. And then uh, start to stretch it off here. I got my hands backwards. Put in one notch. This goes through both notches. You just got to cut it off. Any kind of cutter will work. Pocket knife is a little difficult to maneuver. This is a special cutter that came with a different brand of string. It works very well. It fits in your pocket. So that was relatively painless. Then you want to put it back in your cassette. This sometimes I do this when it's still on the weed whip, but for the video. Do it the easy way. Just get them started in there. Come on, fingers. There we go. Put it down in there, make sure it's locked in place. Give it a tug on both sides to pull it out of the stops. We are ready to go. Okay, that's all. Have fun.